part two of this overview, we are going to demonstrate how to use Jira. We will perform the following tasks in this overview. Access Jira using jira.dhis2.org. Create a new account on Jira. Select Jira dashboards to add as favorites to your account. Review a Jira dashboard. Review a Jira issue. Review Jira labels and briefly discuss how to create a JIRA issue. There is an activity at the end of this subsection that will walk you through these steps as well. In order to access the DHIS2 JIRA, you can navigate to jira.dhis2.org. If you do not already have an account, use the sign-up link located under the login details. Fill in the registration details before proceeding. I'll just fill these in quickly and then come back. Once you have filled in all the details, click on the sign up button in order to sign up. Once this is marked as successful, you can click the login button and enter your new login details. Click on login or hit enter when you are done. You will have to go through some settings before getting started. We'll select the defaults and proceed, but if these differ for you, make sure to select the appropriate options. Our suggestion would be that, in order to get started, select Explore the Current Projects. This will give you a list of the projects that are in the DHIS2 JIRA. The two that you may be most interested in in relation to this course will be the Android app for DHIS2 and DHIS2 software. The easiest way to follow some of these components is to add in dashboards. Dashboards provide a high-level overview of various issues related to a specific project. Select Dashboards, followed by Manage Dashboards, so you can start to add some useful items to your account. You will not have any dashboards yet, but you can select popular ones from the left menu to see the dashboards that are in heavy use. You will see there is a tracker dashboard here. To add it to your personal dashboard, click on the star next to the name. It will now be added to your personal dashboard. Let's also add the DHIS2 Android app dashboard. Now if I select dashboards from the top menu, the dashboards I selected will be available to me. We can go to the tracker dashboard in order to review it. Here we see an overview of the progress and various pending issues that need to be resolved. At the very left, we also see a list of dashboards we have in our account. Let's select an issue and review it. When we review an issue, we can see the particular details that define exactly what the issue is, its current status, related issues, and if we scroll down we can also see comments about the issue, if there are any related to that particular issue. We can also see who's responsible for this issue if we scroll up again, and we can also watch this issue. In the event there are any updates to this issue, we can then be notified. Watching this issue, along with adding comments, are key components of the community-driven development we have discussed earlier. Let's say we did want to follow this issue we could select Start Watching This Issue. Anytime this issue is updated, we would then receive an email notification regarding what has been updated. We could also vote for the issue. Votes give an issue visibility as they identify the potential demand of the issue as recognized from the community. These issues lend us to another useful feature in JIRA called Labels. We can see there is a label field for the issue we have opened. One of the labels is Tracker Features. 
Let's click on this label. When we click on this label, we are then presented with all of the issues that use this label. We can see there are quite a few items we can review and follow if we are interested. You can also add your own requests or report bugs into JIRA as well. Select the Create button to do so. This will take you to a form where you can add in the required details. You can classify the item you are adding using the Issue Type drop-down. You can see that if I select a different issue type, this will modify the fields that are available for you to fill in. There are a lot of features packed into JIRA and lots of different ways to explore them. This platform may seem overwhelming at first, but with a bit of practice, you will be able to navigate the platform while contributing to following DHIS2 development in no time. Outside of JIRA, there are other tools that we can use to follow development, and we will have a look at those in the next part of this overview. Prior to proceeding, we have outlined an activity for you that provides instructions how to sign up and use JIRA. This is an optional activity, but it will be useful if you wish to follow tracker development. We recommend that you complete this activity before proceeding to the next subsection.